The introduction scared me. How so? I mean, you said he wrote Lady in the Bathroom. And a lot of people don't know that story, so that's kind of an awkward situation. It's very simple. I, I'm working with Kenny Rogers. I mean, come on, okay, I'm Kenny with, Rogers. This is, back, this is back in the day. And so Kenny calls and says, I want you to write a song for me. And of course, I wrote Lady. And thinking, he said, write two songs. So I wrote one song called Going Back to Alabama. Well, we get halfway through that song. He says, I don't want to sing that song. I think I want to do um, Lady first. Now, what he didn't know was I only wrote, I only had written the first verse of Lady. So I said, excuse me for a minute. Let me uh, go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm sitting in the stall writing the second verse to Lady. So wait, you can literally be like, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and write this hit juggernaut classic. Yeah. And I'll be back with you in five minutes. Yeah, but let me just explain something to you. You will do some amazing things when you're scared to death. Yes. And so the idea of telling Mr. Rogers, I don't have the second verse was not gonna happen in my lifetime. I, I, <laughs> that's, I just want to say thank you. Hi, I see. Because I, this, this is the first interview I've ever had where the, the host is on the, their knees uh, interviewing me. This is, this is very good. That's how I roll. Very, very, it is. Very I, amazing. It's funny, sometimes I'm just Maybe like, why do I? You and I know, I'm like, Tell me what oh, you want me to do. Oh my God, oh. you're the first person who's doing it to me. Yeah, yeah, no, that would be scary. But okay, so this must have been a scary moment when you told your parents, okay, I'm gonna go into the Commodores and I'm not going to go to college. I'm gonna take this risk. Were you scared? How did you take that leap of faith? Okay, so I'm gonna give you the real story behind that. <laughs> Pay attention, everybody, this is good. <laughs> it was not that I'm not going to school. I am in school. I am in my senior year of Tuskegee University. I called my dad on the phone and I said, uh, we're going on the Jackson 5 tour. We're the opening act for the Jackson 5. And my dad looked at me, and I can't say the words that he said to me. Um, because he's a very educated man, but he, he really got nasty to me. To, <laughs> but no, but, but, me, but you know, it was one of those things where I believed in it so much, and I think he saw that I believed in it. And instead of him giving me the full wrath of what he thought, he just gave me his little outside skirmish, which scared me to death. But the greatest thrill was four years later, I brought him a check. And now, eight years late, 10 years later, excuse me, from that moment, I'm now doing an interview with Barbara Walters. And here's my father speaking to Barbara Walters. It is the job of every parent to stand firmly behind the child. <laughs> and I, and so I realized at that point, you can pay your parents off if you get really great at this. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I mean that, yes, he scared me to death, but he made me put a focus on it. If I don't go for my dream now, when? So I had to take that chance. All right, so American Idol. Uh, ha, what season is this for you? Well. Katy Perry, Luke, Luke Bryan. Ryan, uh, Ryan Seacrest, and all I can say to you is, on American Idol, I don't know what the heck they're gonna do. <laughs> and it's not scripted. There's, everyone thinks that we're making this stuff up or somebody's writing it for us. And so every day, it's a, it's a step off the edge of the cliff of faith. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just such a good show. I thought, I thought I was gonna, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do to teach these kids? And then I realized, no, 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 you get on the show and they're teaching us. Because you learn something. You, if, when you see us in tears on the show, for example, you know, it's not because we're sitting there emotionally involved in their careers, no. We're sitting there as parents. For example, you'll ask a very simple question. Tell us about your growing up. Tell us about your family life. And the lady will say, we're homeless. Now that has nothing to do with singing. That has to do with real life. So when you see us sitting there, the first thing we say is, please God, be able to sing. Because the last thing I wanna do 
is send you away. Yes. And most of the time, we know they can't. But what we do now is, when's the last time they left any parts of that town they were in? Never. So we'll say things like, you know what? We're going to send you to Hollywood. Now, are they going to win the whole event? Probably not. But just leaving that town for a brief moment and meeting some new friends could change their lives forever. Think about that. <laughs>